too bright for your eyes? Do you want me to close it a little bit? Like this? You heard a good doo-doo? I almost fell off the bed. You did? Time to wake up now, okay? I'm gonna wake up Mimi too. Let's go. Yes, son? Can I have breakfast? Good morning. Can I have breakfast? Mm? What do you want? I want breakfast. No, waffles. We have waffles? Yeah. All right, waffles you get. I want waffles also. Oh, good morning. You want waffles also? Good morning. Get out, get out. No, I'm not going out. You're waking up. Are you awake? Mm -hmm. You are? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see you upstairs. Come on, she's awake. All right, we got a little problem here. And it's burning. I didn't know this was going to stick to it. No, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I think I could eat that. Oh. See, it's not bad. It's the egg. This is actually going to be very, very good. Is my waffles ready? What is it? Want maple syrup? You put cinnamon on it, didn't you? Yeah, they're good. Yeah. What? That's how you do it? I'll do it all good. for you enjoy your breakfast mm -hmm. good morning oh let me take this off oh. okay so i have been out since the morning running errands getting stuff for the business but i also got gumballs and we're gonna do have you seen this thing that's been like going around on the internet where parents put candy on the table and then they test their kids like uh, trustworthiness or patience if they can like sit there and not you know, eat the candy until the parents come back. So me and JD, we have this other idea. It's kind of like a twist on that where we're going to put a bunch of these gumballs in a bowl upside down and then we're going to tell Gabriel and Charlotte that they can't peek and if they can guess what's inside, they get to keep it, but they can't peek. I'm sitting in this like disgusting alley behind my restaurant. See all the graffiti. Yeah, something kind of gross happened today though. I'm not gonna show you. Well, I'm sitting here and usually when I see like little things on the ground, I just pick it up with gloves, obviously, and I throw it in the trash. And I see this like yucky blanket in the back. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna throw it out because I don't wanna keep this alley clean behind our restaurant. So I have a shovel. And then as I'm going into see what, you know, as I'm trying to lift the blanket, there's all this like blood. It's disgusting. The blanket is like soaked in blood and there's like bloody like bandages and stuff. It's so gross. And so now I'm like, I'm going to have to tell the city or call the city and ask them to take because I'm not touching that. So yeah, that's like the downside of owning a restaurant downtown. When you clean the back alley, there's like all this gross stuff. That's pretty gross. All right, so now I'm going to drop off the stuff at the store and then I'm going to go home, see what JD and the kids are up to. So we'll see you later. That was crazy. Did you see that blanket? Oh, so gross. Grace took a picture of it. She wanted to show it to me and I don't want to see it. So I'm not going to show you because it's kind of disgusting. I don't know. We'll call the cops. We'll see what happened with that blanket. That's, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but we have a little problem with uh, uh, a hedgehog. Last year, there were three of them. One of them fell into our pool, ripped the entire thing. Uh, we had to get the whole thing changed. This year, I saw him back. I don't know if it's him or his son, daughter, kids, whatever, but I saw it back inside of our backyard. And somebody told me that if you put hair at the entrance, the, the place where they live, they turn around and they don't go back. They just they just move. They don't stay there anymore. I don't know if you guys saw the last video, but I cut Gab's hair. So I took all the hair and I put them right here at the hedgehog's house. Look. So, and then, and then apparently what this does is that the animal is going to smell something that he's not familiar with, that it's not his smell, and it'll take its thing and just leave. I don't know, but uh, since then, it's been a few days, I haven't seen it yet. So, has he decided to move? Maybe, maybe not. I'll keep you updated on that if it works, but putting hair at the place where the, the edge egg lives, apparently, the tear them from coming back. So, we'll see. I'll let you know. All right, guys, so we're planning a little experimental. So we got this little bowl here filled up with chewing gums and we're gonna flip it around. Oh my God. 
Should we go fast? Yeah, go. One, two, three. What happens if you were to look? All right, that's it, that's it. That's, that's what it. we need. All right, so here's the plan. I'm going to get the kids in. We're gonna tell them that there's something in the bowl and they're gonna to get to have it if they don't peek inside. If they don't peek. If they can guess what's in the bowl, they get to keep what's in the bowl, if they can guess it. Grace is gonna call my phone and I'm gonna to have to go away and leave them alone here. I'm gonna tell them to stay here. I'm gonna go get the phone and I'll see what they do. Are they gonna peek inside? If they do peek inside, but maybe they won't. Maybe they will just Maybe they won't. So yeah. we actually don't know what they're gonna do, but that's, that's the game. We're gonna see. All right, guys. I'm gonna get them in, sit them here, and explain to them. But I want to press. I, what I think is, if Charlotte might figure out my camera is there, she might turn it off or she might flip it around. So I want to record with another camera in case she does. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I can just say, "Hey, someone's on the phone with you for you," mm -hmm. and then just give you my phone. Oh, okay. Okay. So your dad's on the phone. Your, your dad's on the phone. Yeah. Your dad wants to talk to you. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So my dad wants to talk to me. Grace called me, give me her phone. I go downstairs, I go outside. Don't peek, I'm gonna be back. All right. All right, that's the plan, let's go. We have another bowl here. The kids are gonna sit over there. We're gonna fill that one up here as a bait. If we're lucky, they're gonna open both. And I know them, I think it might work. Wait. One, two, three. All right, let's stick it here on the edge. All right, guys, so here's a game. There's something in there, okay? If you can guess what's in there, it's yours. Okay? Okay. So you guys have to guess what's in there. What do you think is in there? Um, is it those uh, things over there? The, the, the sunflower seed? No. Um, it's something you guys like. Something you guys really, really like. You're going to be very Chocolate! Happy. No. Candy pods. Hey, JD. What? Candy? You get a phone call. It's your okay, okay. Stay there. Stay, stay, wait for me. Wait for me, okay? Candy. Try to figure out what's in there. Um, candy. Hold on. I have to call my dad. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Airpods. We bought an airpod. It's very expensive. I don't have enough money. Watermelon? Oh no, we don't have enough watermelon. And how is it gonna fit in that? <laughs> Cut slices in there. Slices? Uh huh. Oh yeah. But it's not that. We don't know. Marbles? Are they marbles? I don't know. They sound like marbles, but we don't eat that. Or we don't play with that, and we don't like that. Is it candy? No. I think I know what it is. I said gum. Gum is not candy. Yeah, some gums can be candy. Okay, you say candy, I say gum. Okay, you say candy, I say gum. Oh no! 
So, so far we're hearing that they're playing with, I don't know what they're doing, but I heard things roll out of the bowl. So I think things roll out of the bowl. I think they got rid of the evidence. I'm not sure. And I think they try to put him back in there. And now they're pretending that they don't know. Hold on. What? Hold on. I think I think that I think I think they came out. I think Charlotte opened it. They got rid of the evidence, and now they're playing because they don't think it's recorded. So I think they're pretending. That we're gonna have to review the footage. All right. All right. So I'm gonna. Il faut gérer avec les enfants. Puis j'ai les enfants, je reviens. Okay. So, what is it? You guys figured out what it is? Candy, yeah. candy! How do you know it's candy? <laughs> it's gum! It, it's nothing it's gum. else! It's gum? Yeah. That's your guess? That's your yeah. final guess? Yeah. Candy. Final guess? Candy! Yeah. yeah. Wait, is that your guess? Yeah. Should they open it? Okay. Do you want to see what it is? Open it. <laughs> You had a gumball machine gap, right? You can put them inside. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to throw stuff. How did you guess? I would have never guessed what was in the bowl. Uh, did you guys open it? Yeah. No. You opened it? Yeah, for Charlotte says no. <laughs> did you open well, it or what? We, we opened it for a little bit and then all the gum came out. So we took it in our hands and, and it, we, we know it, it would be harder if we put it back in. So we just ate some of it and put it in our buckets. So you got rid of the evidence. I knew it. I knew it. So, so, so who opened it? Who opened it? Candy. You opened it and it came out? But and then, and then who had it? the idea to peek in. And who had the idea of like removing the evidence? Like get rid of the evidence. Yeah. Like hiding stuff. Who? You? Oh, totally her. <laughs> when I came out, he said, look, it's very easy. We just go like this. Yeah, because we can see. He didn't think about it, but if he did, he would have known. We didn't think about it either. That's very smart. Who was like you with it? When I, I came out, that's what he said. Oh man, you should have just done that. I have to say, I am not surprised that you guys peeked. <laughs> I thought it was going to be Sharda peeking first though. That I'm surprised. Yeah, because Gabby usually follows the rules. Yeah. He's like really all about rules. You didn't you were the one that peeked. No. Guys, I it. opened it. I'm the one that opened it. She's the one that wanted to peek it. So she says, I want to peek, you opened it. Mm -hmm. And it came out, what'd you guys do? You freak out? Were you I nervous? I really wanted to peek it, I just, I knew I, I didn't. Were you, ner were you nervous when you peeked, when it all came out? Yeah. Yeah? Can I come like, oh, shoot, got <laughs> either? Can I give some? Can yeah, yeah, of course, we have enough. And I was you. like, whoa, what's in that one? Huh? <laughs> oh, what? You came over here and then you opened that one too? Yeah. Alright guys, so that's it for the gum. What happened was exactly what I thought was going to happen. Yeah. I thought Shallow was going to open well, it. but Yeah. Alright guys, go play. I love you. See you later.